So in the beginning of this course, I mentioned that even though Trello is free, you can really get good use of it by using some power ups. And let's get into that power ups. I'm sorry, I didn't mean power ups. I mean extensions. Power up is paid version of Trello where you can only use one at a time. If you need more than one, you need to obviously upgrade or disable the first one to go to the next one, which is kind of inconvenient. But again, it's free. Remember, this is a free software that's going to help manage your life better. So I shouldn't be complaining. And we will look at some workarounds. The first one is a Chrome extension for labels. So this extension is called TRE labels. And how you can find it is you just go to Google and search for Chrome extensions. This only works with Google Chrome. If you're using a different browser, I am sorry. Maybe you should switch to Google Chrome. I love it. And hopefully if you give it a shot, you will love it too. So here you can just search for TRE labels, hit the search button and here it is Trellables, Tray labels, Trellables for Trello. Um, if you haven't already, I have already added this to my Google Chrome, but if you have not, you will see the add to Chrome button. So what does this do? It does a lot of things with labels. So first of all, we we have these labels. I don't know what they mean unless I click on them, open a card and see all the labels. I don't know what they mean, what their naming convention is. So if I'm new to this board, they're just colors to me till I actually learn them. So you can actually show the tags. And now I know, oh, this is done and this is in progress and partial payment. But as you can see, the text looks a little funky on top of that colorblind mode. So let's switch off our colorblind mode. And how you do that is you go to labels and disable colorblind friendly mode. So now we're back to solid colors, which works perfect with this uh, first option of the tray label extension, which is tags. The second one is lines. So you will see a full line on. I don't like this. It takes up too much space. It adds more real estate that your screen already doesn't have but if this is something for you go for it the next one is stickers so it'll just put a little dot instead of the full line that Trello gives you which is the default again you can use this in many different ways tabs is less space it gives you more card room to play with my favorite is tags where you can see what's written on the label Another extension I use and I love this one is this little guy right here. It's called Ultimello. It's it's got a few features. So let's go into it and I have it authorized. So when you download it again, you go to the Chrome Web Store. Search for it. And I found this extension by attending a Trello webinar where the folks who built Trello use this extension. So obviously it's being used by a lot of people and you can just search for Trello and you'll get like, I don't even know how many results. There's like hundreds of different extensions you can use. Uh, so just make sure you click on extensions and now you can just go through all of these and they will give you more power than you already have. And I only use a few because this could, this can get a little out of control with all the different extensions. See what works best for you, play around with it, use it and back to Ultimello. What this does is it lets you sort lists and it lets you connect cards. And then finally it also shows you card count. So we have to authorize this. I'm going to go ahead and hit the authorize button and then I'm going to allow it. And that's it. Now, if I go back here and refresh this, you will see that my cards now, now we are using Ultimello. So you will see there are numbers next to my cards. And what are these numbers? These numbers are telling me how many cards are on this particular list. So this list has 17 cards. I can look at that right here without even having to scroll all the way down. 10 cards, 5, 11, so on and so forth. That's, that's one feature. 
another feature from Ultimelo is the parent child relationship and how this works is let's say you are researching florists but so the florist is your parent and your child under that is book florist so first you're going to research it and then you're going to book it so let's create a connection in between these two cards and how we do that is you click now you will see this little connection icon has appeared once I activated Ultimelo. So you click on it and it says, hooray, you can now connect cards. Okay, I know that. And then you will, we're gonna select this one as a parent. So this is the parent card. And then we're going to select our, sorry we are going to select we're going to look for children so this is the parent let's look for the children and now when i click on this it becomes the child card and then you just hit done so this is the parent this is the child if i click on this card it tells me here is the children of this card so your main parent is research florist but your second step which is a child of that first step is to book florist and that's how this works i personally haven't seen much use of it in my daily planning of everything i do you might see good use of it and if you do please let me know how you are using it so i can add it in my next training and then the final one my favorite you must have already noticed this these lists are columns that are stacked vertically and there is no way for me to stack this one under this one it just takes place of that oh yes there is a way and that is our third extension which is this one right here called list layouts for trello so if we go back to the google chrome web store you can just search for list layout for trello it shows up right here I've already added it if you have not you will see the add to chrome button just like so once you do add it how it works is you just click on it and it's going to change the page layout and it's going to give you a few different options so here's one where all your lists are condensed and now you can see them all right here instead of scrolling horizontally we are all used to scrolling vertically online so this will work good and then if you click on it again, it just stacks them one below the other. So you just keep scrolling vertically. But this one I don't like because you can keep scrolling to eternity right here. And then if you click on it again, it does it again. So three options, one, two, and three. Uh, so that's a good one. Uh, again, you can go to the Google Chrome store, look for extensions, and you will find a gazillion extensions for Trello. See what works best for you and use it. And that's that's it for extensions another thing you can do with cards so earlier we discussed the parent and the child which if I open this here's the child book florist so if I click on book florist it's gonna bring me here now you don't necessarily need ultimelo for this which is an extension we are using you could open this card go to share and more get this link for the card copy it and then we're going to go out of this card. So let's go to this card and then we're going to just paste it here. So now you have a link for this card right here. Uh, because it's in the comment section, it could get lost as we start adding more comments. Uh, you know, you'll see this keep going down, down, down further and it'll eventually get lost in all the comments. So you could put it in the description and that way you have it up here and this will always stay up top in the description section and you can name it a child that way you know that this is a child to that parent of fl book florist or research florist so that's another way if you don't want to use too many extensions or maybe that extension isn't working sometimes they can get a little glitchy because they are free extensions these guys are constantly working and fixing bugs on them that's another way to do it